Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4. I'm your host, Calvin, and we're continuing our Ethiopia game. Let's see. Yeah, all is well. Just chasing down some rebels, it looks like. As we slowly try and get religious unity up. We're at... what is it? Hmm? <clears throat> 45%. Ah, uh, yes. Um... Yeah, no less we're going to chase them around for hours, probably. Costing us lots of units, which we can't particularly afford right now. I'm certain if anyone's noticed. But we don't exactly have that much manpower. Yeah, holy hell. How is that happening? We took way too many casualties doing that. God damn it. I need to I need to use harsh treatment here. I really don't want that to happen, but I really don't want that to happen. I guess I'll Well, they have like a claim on this province anyway. So, it's not like another Casas Belize is going to hurt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, maybe someday. Maybe someday when the Mamluks are getting the crap beaten out of them by Western powers. But as it stands, they're beating the crap out of the Ottomans, so... Ooh, Korn Hadramat. Alright. Good, good. Why... Why is there revolt risk here? Basically equal to obscurantism. Ah, uh, yeah. Great, that, that, that modifier is still in effect, isn't it? Yeah. Until October, but then things will be a heck of a lot more stable around here, I think. Yeah, we have, you know, 3.3%, so we'll lose 2% in October. That puts us down to 1.3% across the board, which is much more handleable. Danakil will actually completely lose his revolt risk thanks to harsh treatment and a occupying army. Man, that active missionary hurts. We'll actually go down to only 1%, I think, once the war exhaustion completely wears out. Yeah, so around October we should be good. That revolt risk was causing a bit of a... Or, yeah, there we go. Uh, the, the, this just seems to update slowly, I think. I'm not certain. Because it's still saying 3.3% in Mocha. Ah, uh, that's a good question. Oh yeah, right. I need to be in a more advanced technology group to collect to do that. Um... I guess so. Gaining some diplomatic power isn't going to hurt. Every little bit helps. General died. Let's get us a new one. There we go. I was worried for a second there when that didn't pop up. I was like, uh, excuse me? And, uh, oh well. Everything's good. The end of the month lag is a little weird. Alright, so war exhaustion's completely gone. And obfuscatorum or whatever it is is completely gone. So now we just need a little legitimacy. Which is not easy to come by in this game. Uh, especially when you're me and your total sum of 
people that you can royal marry is about zero. Yeah. You know, it, w it would be a great thing if I could, like, discover the Mediterranean or something. I'd be hoping for some kind of royal marriage with the uh, Byzantines, but sadly it appears that they are dead. Oh no, it considers it to be a core province. Okay. If I go to this, it just takes me, yeah. But if I... Damn. I, I was kind of hoping I could, like, get myself into the uh, menu that way. Eh, Paradox is one step ahead of me on that bug, I guess. Alright. So, as we slowly get some legitimacy... Uh, basically, we'll maybe get minus 1.01, .01, or no, wait, just minus 0.01, uh, revolt risk a year if we're lucky. Really? You're fabricating a claim on Mocha. The hell? Freaking Mamluks? At least the relations are slowly repairing. Right, here we go. Can finally get Diplo Tech 3. Might as well, I got nothing better to spend this on. The early Carrick. Alright, good work. So, neighbor bonus minus 10%. We're next to people who have a Diplo Tech of 5. Woohoo, Danakil has been converted. Alright, so with that little religious unity boost, what are we looking at here? 0 0.5. Oh yeah. Now, we've got three more provinces to do here uh, in this region. I don't want to do Masawa just yet because I still consider it to be a probably lost province if the Mamluks come knocking. So I need to be careful about that. <laughs> it would be uh, most useless of me to waste a pile of uh, effort on it and get nothing done. So I'm going to do the quicker ones, which have a... Uh, Base value, base, base tax value of 1, since Herrera has base tax value of 2, and all that. Uh, it'll take even longer. Moko will take a really long time. And just everything over here will take a while. So we'll, we'll, we'll send a missionary here. Take 33 months, that's less than 3 years. Oh my, an advisor died. Thank you for informing me. Um, I want to take him, but he's a little rich for my blood. Mostly because I want to wait to see if something good appears here. Um, I'll take you, because a land force limits boost right now will give me more money. <laughs> because I am over my force limits, I think. Where's that? There we go, now I'm at my force limits, now that I have him. Maybe that's why I uh, lost my force limits before. I don't know. I've only just put up episode 2, so... <sighs> Um, you know, I, I have no idea. Probably people are yelling at me, oh, that, you lost your advisor, that's why you lost that force so much. People just love to try and tell me when I'm wrong. Of course, you know, I put out, I plan to be putting out four of these a day. If I'm not, you know, a day or two ahead, which is 48 episodes. Yeah, I, ex I discover everything eventually. Doesn't mean you shouldn't comment, though. No, uh... Anyway, yeah, legitimacy is piss poor. I'm trying to think. What is there anything I can do? I mean, this is just going to decay back to zero and not help me in the slightest. So, Adana nationalists, really? And I would have thought it would have been like Berbera or something. I mean, everywhere else is just a-okay, pretty dandy. Uh, I should do harsh treatment in Barbera just to make damn sure, though. Uh, we managed to produce a very legitimate honor show we have a historical claim on one of their provinces. The Ottomans gained and prestige. What? Okay. It's... Sure, Ottomans, you can have 10 prestige. I... Paradox, I, uh, found a bug. Yeah, uh... 
All right then, Let, let's just pretend nothing happened. No, 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 nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Stupid sexy clanders. Um, Lady yeah, Amberbera, harsh treatment will keep the religious revolt down. Right now, my only real chance for getting anywhere is improving religious unity. And getting uh, religious unity up will effectively reduce the revolt risk. By quite a bit, I hope. Like I said, if I can get religious unity up to 75%, I think, um, that should be about where this uh, is no longer an issue. There will be no revolt risk at all. At least in theory. Um, how are we doing here? Uh, still another 150, 160 power. How's, how far away is that? At 5, that's 80. Uh, 8 years? Yeah, no wait, 8 times 10, that would be 8 times 10. Ah, uh, shoot. If there's 12 months in a year, I can subtract, uh, that. So we're looking at about six, seven years. All right, that's not too bad, I guess. Trade income increase. Yeah. I need to do something. I mean, I still haven't discovered Yemen's other province, which is kind of sad. I was kind of hoping I would have by now. I actually want to vassalize them because I know they control an island here uh, that I can't see. So if I just flat out vassalize them, uh, I don't have to do any form of you know naval invasion or anything. Makes life a little easier, and I'm probably not going to be wanting to expand gigantically into Oman. I really need to focus on my admin tech right now. I really need to get up to four as quickly as possible. Let's age. I'm going to hope that this guy dies soon and I get a slightly better advisor eventually. Honestly, if it comes down to it, it's a plus three dude, I'll hire him. I don't care. Um... Just, I'll, I'll, I'll take the losses. I'll be alright. He's already over halfway done. He's doing quite well, I say. But yeah, I just need, uh, need one of my advisors in the administrative field to die and give me a better one. Don't care who or how. I just want some, I just want more admin power. Um. I accepted military alliance with someone I've never met. I really wish I could like find a way to meet the meet Europe. It's really annoying that I actually haven't. Oh, Yemen finally left that uh, military coalition. Answers. I like how I've unmet Yemen too. There's just I have completely unmet them. I can't even converse with them anymore. <laughs> like. Uh, that's a little silly. Mm, this one limit there is pretty good. I'm just trying to think of ways I can, you know, dig in or something here. And just hold my ground. As conquest to cost us belief on Yemen. Hedges and the Mamluks. Alright. I have constantly. I, I don't get it. I mean, I have all the stuff on the friggin' Yemen, but I can't even see them. It's annoying. Once I discover this province, I get sight of their capital, so since I believe those are the only two provinces they own, I'll be able to see the whole country. Maybe I should uh, invest in some barks. Well, I guess the rest of the country can't be hunky dory the entire time. I was just going to say, maybe I should consider investing in some barks uh, for trade power. Tell me, what is uh, my ship limit? Five, alright. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, I already have one ship. So only four, okay. <laughs> And uh, having, you know, a team to protect trade there should help me with a uh, little more income, I'm hoping. They'll offset themselves. 
because each one provides three trade power, so that's 15 trade power. That's a fair bit, considering I have 43 total. Really? Really? <laughs> they hear that a rebellion in Sanaa was just horribly crushed, and they feel like joining in. Abolish attacks. Abolish attacks, yeah. <laughs> Let's just flat out abolish attacks. Um. Thank God I have a large reserve of cash. Alright, so everything here should be done by January of 77, is it? Yeah, okay. As much as I'd like spying on these guys, uh, there's no additional intel I'm going to get out of them at this point. Holy crap, did we take a hell of a lot of casualties while I was not looking? Yeah, apparently we did. Alright, Barbera's converted. That's good. That should uh, drop revolt risk a little more. Good. As our religious unity has hopefully gone up. 54% still. That's not until the end of the month. We've gained colonialism against Yemen. What? I have no idea. Oh, well, at least we finally discovered them. Alright, um... I guess you guys can recover as much as you can in the meantime. Let's get all of our uh, navies together here. Uh, protect trade and the Gulf of Aden. That should start getting me a fair bit of uh, trade power there. Yeah, there we go. All right. So next siege phase, we move. Actually, we'll just move now. We're at full morale. We've got to beat them. Come on, dice gods! Don't fail me twice in a row. Close. Oh, shit. That's a that's actually really troubling. They're gonna finish that siege now. Can I afford to just hire them all? What choice do I have? Great, they'll be ready in half a year. It's fine by me. No available mercenaries. That's fine. I'm not worried. Gather whatever the hell I can together. Because my army is now non-existent. <laughs> This is going to make Herrera a problem in the long run. Just get to work out there. First treat them. Just to make damn sure. Keep those rebels down as much as possible. Alright, as expected, they're going to Hod. Okay. What? I don't know how you in hell you think that's the shortest route, sir. Alright, so since we'll be fighting them in Hod, I think we'll be okay. 
with just what we have here. Because I believe Hod is mostly desert, right? Yeah, 89% desert. So there's an 89% chance that we'll land in the desert. As opposed to on a mountain. Alright, there you go. I really wish I could support Rebels. Covert action. Yeah, I wish I could, like, support Orthodox Zealots here. Have them take over. I was gonna say how I can't see that. So I have a theory. If I fabricate a claim here, and then just hold this province, regardless of, uh, you know, these guys here. Alright. 16. This had better be damn well enough. I paid good money for a frig load of troops to beat these guys. I'm probably gonna have to keep the mercs on, uh, on tap for a little while, I think. We got some new technology, finally! Medieval administration. <sighs> oh man, we took a hell of a lot of casualties in that, I won't lie. That's all that's left of the mercs. Good. Get rid of them. Alright, I think we'll be okay. Problem is now Herrera has nationalism in it. And that's really going to be the bigger issue. I suppose some harsh treatment, though, will uh, keep them in line. It's pretty cheap to do if you only have to do a couple provinces. Oh, good. Oh, of course. You don't give me anyone useful, do you? Just give me the same shit you usually do. I'm gonna take prestige. That gives me a base of 40 prestige. Uh, by having a hard two. A hard two will basically, uh, mean 40 prestige, so hopefully 0.4, uh, yearly legitimacy. Diplomatic advisor's dead. Alright. Better relations over time. Uh, we'll get this guy. National decisions available to pass the Liquor Act. No. Let's not. Let's just not. Alright. All as well. Improvements in government technology. Spare absolutely no expense. I need all the administrative power I can get. Alright, Herrera's almost fallen. I actually think I'm going to leave my army in Herrera. It'd be better to have the defensive bonus if there's going to be a rebellion in the mountains. It's more important there. So out of curiosity, how long is it going to take in Hod now that we've lost our uh, so faithful... So, another eight years. Lovely. Um, rooting out these damned Sunnis is hard. But on the plus side, you know, religious unity and all that, it's going up. Revolt risks are only 0 0.3 after all. And uh, soon, hopefully, as legitimacy increases, we can patch the last of it. I hope. I desperately hope. Because, like I said, we just don't have the manpower. Which, I can't have any revolt risk. With the amount of manpower I have. Uh, just fall already. Thank you. Harsh treatment. Done. Fix them. They've started reconquest as their costs believe. Okay, have I met Bulgaria by chance? Now do I? No. Never have. I'm lonely. 
Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. As always, this has been your host, Kelvin, oh so lonely down here in Africa, with only rebels to keep him company. Signing off.